Namaste, beautiful yoga. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali, and today we are doing yoga at Paradise Bay Resort. Overlooking the class will be overlooking the Chinaman's hat, and we'll do a vinyasa flow. So remember to flow with strength. Knees. front of the mat, our usual meet-up spot, hands over the heart, roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, extending the tailbone down, lifting through the crown of the head, and as you stand tall here, feel the widening of the back and the opening of the chest, so there's this action happening in the body as you elongate through the crown of the head. Nice deep inhalations, followed by complete exhalations, firming up the belly. Deepening the breath. Let's inhale the hands over the head, clasping, reach over to one side and look up. Back to center, over to the opposite side. Back to center one more time, side bend. and changing sides. Looking up, lengthening. Really lift through both hands here. Feel the elongation happening along the left and the right side of the body. Plant your feet firmly into the floor. Lengthen. Balancing out the body. And back to center. Exhale, diving. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, lifting through the knee. Drop it behind, well thing. To side plank, touching the right elbow to the left elbow. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, really squeeze it in there. <laughs> Nine, oh, ten. And reach over the head and plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Let's take the left leg up and open, open the hip, open the knee, lift.
drop it behind while I think. Really lifting through the hips, opening through the chest. Side plank. Let's bring the elbow to the bottom elbow one. If you touch them, but it's even harder and lift the hips high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lift. Plank, Chaturanga, Upper Dog, Chaturanga, Downward Facing Dog. And you can walk in place here. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, drop it behind, wow thing. And take side plank, grab your ankle, right hand to right ankle and open it behind, opening the sauce here. And let's guide the right foot at the front of the mat. Twist lunge. You can roll onto the other edges of the feet and open here. It's a transitioning hip opener. Great. Let's look ahead of us. Come up high lunge. Hands in prayer twist. And reach over the head. Reaching back, and exhale the hands on the inside of the right foot. Lower the back knee down for a nice saw stretch. Now we can deepen this stretch by bending the back knee. Left knee is bending, reach back with your right hand and bring gently the heel in so you feel that deep stretch at the front of the hip and thigh and the hip flexor and the psoas. Great. And let's stand on the back knee, the left knee bending here. Take your right hip above the left hip, opening here. And we're gonna open the source here one more time on this side. So we're alternating left, right. So a stretch. Release down dog. Take the left leg up, open. Drop it behind wall thing. Lift as high as you can. Take side plank, bending, grabbing your ankle and open here. Again, source. You guide your foot to the front. Twist. You can roll onto the other edges of the feet. Let's come up. Mm -hmm. 
exhale the hands on the inside of the left and lower the right knee down take the tailbone under stretching the sauce on the right side now <coughs> and breathe breathe into each and every stretch breathe into each and every move now either stay here or if you want to deepen it you're going to take the left hand back and around grabbing here and gently bringing your heel towards your booty it's quite a deep stretch and you can release you can drop the right knee on the ground stack the left hip on top open here and down dog let's keep going right leg comes up open drop it behind wall thing Side plank, star side plank. Step the right foot to the front, high lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Extend one hand down, one up. Maybe go into an arm balance. Back to lunge. With a twist. Come up, high lunge. You can clasp the hands and reach over to the right. Again, that's a sauce. That's one of the deeper sauce stretches. That's why I like to include this one. Great, exhale down. And let's bring the right knee into the chest. Plank tuck, hold it. Plank chaturanga, up tuck. Chaturanga, down dog. Let's take the left leg up and open. Well thing. Side plank, star side plank. Petro, high lunge, and your hands in prayer twist, extend one hand down, one up, Maybe going to an arm balance. And back to twist. High lunge. Reaching back. And maybe reach over to your left here. Take the tailbone under and really level the hips and you feel it on the right side <sighs> a 
plank tuck, tuck the left knee in. Plank, drop the knees down, walk your hands as far as you can and drop the forehead down and the body is stretching back so the spine is stretching back towards the heels the hands are resisting we're stretching the entire upper mid and lower back plank we're going to take the right foot on the outside of the right hand roll onto the outer edges of the feet and stretch here step it back opposite side so a few of those just to even those stretches out right left right it's a deep hip opener I keep bent even left good plank hold it knees on the ground let's walk the hands on to the mid back fingers pointing up elbows walking towards each other press your hips forward lift through the heart Stretching the upper part of the psoas. <sighs> and on all fours. Stomach vacuum. One more, emptying the belly and drawing the navel towards the spine. One more. Release down dog. Let's walk the hands back midway on the mat, halfway back towards the feet. Take the right leg up, right hand to right leg. This is a little bit of an advanced saw stretch and back bend. Give it a go. Both hands on the ground lower the left knee down take the left hand to the right ankle and open here again lots of back bends today and one legged plank on the left leg take the right leg up post it up ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten warrior one exhale down plank to chaturanga to upward facing dog chaturanga downward dog Let's walk the hands half way back towards the feet, midway on the mat, take the left leg up and here I find it easy to take the right hand a little further out of the mat for balancing purposes, left hand to left, ankle open.
release the hand down, drop the right knee now on the floor, right hand, left ankle open again. Here you can push the foot into the hand and open the shoulder as well. Beautiful. Release and let's step the left foot through warrior one. Straightening the lead knee this time. Level the hips and lower down, chest over the thigh. Come halfway up, step your right foot in, left foot back, straighten out, level the hips, lower down. Plank, Chaturanga, upward dog, child's pose. Downward facing dog again. Tuck your toes under, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Stepping through. High lunge. Hold it here. Step it back. And press back in down dog. Left leg presses up. Step it through. And back. Change it one more time, right leg. Left leg, just a few steps in. And this time when you go back, one leg at plank. Left leg pushes up 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. Up dog and child's pose. Let's take down dog again. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior two. Reverse it. Straighten the lead knee and triangle. And Vinyas, of course. Down dock. Left leg comes up, warrior two. And reverse it. Straighten it, bridge. Coming out, triangle. Release vinyasa, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, right leg comes up, warrior two, reverse it, side angle, Half moon. Mm. 
side angle. Vinyasa. Left leg comes up. Warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. We're gonna shift into half moon. Side angle. This also stretches the psoas, certain parts of the psoas, especially if you reach over the head. Plant the back heel down and you'll feel that stretch. All right. Plank. Open the heels, sit between your heels. A really deep, nice breath. Focusing on the exhalations. You can lower down onto your elbows. Lower down further onto the back. Keeping the knees down, the knees hip width apart. You can stay on your elbows if this is too far. And let's come up onto the elbows, reversing it, and sit up between the heels. Hands on the ground, open the fingers, and let's touch the knees to the wrists, to the elbows, to the armpits. And again, wrists, elbows, armpits. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 and then side to side. So opposite knee to, so left knee to right forearm, right knee to left forearm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down dog. Take the left hand in the center, right hand to the right ankle, uh, to the left ankle, excuse me, so cross. Look under the shoulder. Opposite side. Down dog, take the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, hands down, jump to shift, high lunge, hands down, jump to shift, high lunge, lower down, jump to shift, and keep going, jump to shift, lift, exhale down. One to last. 
the last one. Exhale, plank, hold it. Take the right foot to the front, pigeon. Open. Lower down. And coming up. Here you can scoot your hips forward so that you're closing in that heel. And one more stretch maybe for the sauce. With either hand, bring your left ankle in. Great plank. You can draw a circle with your right knee, take the left leg down in pigeon, flex the foot, level the hips, lift through the rib cage. Lower down. slowly coming up again scooting the hips forward you can reach with either hand and bring the back heel in stretching the front of the thigh the hip flexor the psoas quadriceps hips press it back in down dog you can draw a circle with the left knee let's from down dog take the right foot in level the hips here come halfway up straight chest bring the left hand forward evolving triangle Release it, shift sides. Come halfway up, reach with the right hand forward. Open, pushing that left hip back, trying to level the hips, trying to lengthen through the crown of the head. Release, step both feet on the outside of your mat and come up <sighs> plie big birds <sighs> all right straighten out of plie stepping at the front Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, hands in prayer. Take the right foot into the left. Th 
thigh hold here you can close the eyes or keep them just slightly open meditation gaze release opposite side release yogic squat squatting down and simple elbows opening the knees and sit down onto your body lean back reaching forward chest open back widens really tightening up the belly Hold it with the chest open and forward fold. One more time. Lean back, you can bend the knees, it's a little easier and really flex and feel. release the hands behind you and we're going to just bend the knees side to side let's bend the knees to the left and look over your right shoulder and change one more time bend to the left look away from the knees You can even take the left arm up and change. And one more. Core. Holding here in partial Navasana. Open the chest. Maybe bring in Mula Bandha. So so the feet together. And let's open the legs. Forward fold. Shake the legs. Let's bring the hands to the right and behind. Forehead to the ground, heels on the floor. So forehead and heels are on the ground. Full stretch opposite side coming up and lower down into plow shoulder stand slowly rolling up coming into seated hands on the ground partial headstand or maybe 
tuck your knees into your chest. You can go into a headstand too. Or just one leg down, one up, then change legs. And rest in child's pose. For the final relaxation, we are going to do a final supine twist. Changing sides. And either lay in Shavasana and make yourself comfortable or sit in a, you can come into a city and stay here for a few moments observing the essence of being the moment observing the moment the present moment the essence of existence of just being of who you truly are enveloping yourself in beingness or in the experience of consciousness and just staying here as pure consciousness pure bliss pure beingness, pure awareness, pure you, pure truth, pure love. I'll see you with our next class and remember to follow strength and ease. Namaste.